Okay, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Good morning or good afternoon. I think it is a vloggy vlogsters. Welcome to the weekly vlog. Um, as you can see, not at home this week. I am actually, I've just arrived at Horcross Hall for a little spa break with my mother. Hang on, there she is. Hi. <laughs> um, yeah, if you saw last week's vlog, not been very well. So this is much needed. So we've just checked in and we're in our lovely room in the newer part of the hotel this time. What we've got, we've got a bed, dressing table, nice chaise long there. Um, and we're gonna go down, just sort of settling in, and then we're gonna go down for some afternoon tea. I'm in much need of cake and relaxation, so I am so looking forward to this. Um, so I will try and vlog bits of it as we go. Obviously I won't be able to vlog in the actual spa because there's lots of people in the swimwear there and they don't take kindly to having the photo taken. Uh, but I will, um, yeah, just vlog as we, we go about our relaxation business. like today has been quite food focused really um afternoon tea was uh, amazing um always happy when a place fulfills my request for extra clotted cream as well so that's always nice um yeah scones oh the cakes were so good sandwiches were so good after afternoon tea uh mum went down to the spa and had a little relax down there and she said there's like an amazing new sanctuary room where the one restaurant used to be with like hanging relaxation pods and things which i'm very much looking forward to giving a go tomorrow i start to feel not great again after afternoon tea so i came back up and had a nap and uh by the time i finished my nap it was time to get ready for dinner we had a wonderful dinner it looked like this fillet steak was really really good so now we're back up in the room pjs are on time for a read more sleep and then uh, yeah time for more food in the morning for breakfast hello so it is the end of another hard day's relaxing at Horcross hall and we're about to go down for dinner um I can't even think if I've actually recorded anything today. I don't think I have, so I'm just checking in with you really to say what I did. Um, as I said to you when we arrived, it's quite difficult to actually vlog whilst you're here because we don't want to kind of invade other people's privacy. Um, but basically lay down all day, and as you can probably tell, I'm feeling a hell of a lot better <laughs> for it. Um, I, we got up, we had a lovely breakfast, nice full English. I had to have some fruit as well. Um, and then um, we uh, went and lay down in uh, one of the pool areas. Went in the salt steam room. I didn't go in the kind of ice part of the Nordic ice and fire under doctor's orders, uh, but uh, I really enjoy going in the salt steam room. My skin feels so much better for it, it always does. Um, and then we went and had lunch, which was different this time. Last time we were here, we had lunch in the ballroom. Um, now we had it in the refurbished restaurant. It used to be the Seventh Heaven restaurant in the day spa, um, and now it's where everyone has their lunch. Um, I can't remember the name of it, um, but it was really nice. So it was like, instead of a full buffet offering, it was, um, buffet starter kind of really nice salads which I think I did take a picture of um, and then um, you have the choice of a few lunch items of things like ravioli and lasagna and chicken um, and then also a carvery which was gammon which I went for and it was really really nice and then I had a chocolate mousse and then we went and found one of the new sanctum rooms which uh, again I've taken a photo of for you and uh, lay down again uh, and I just read and sort of snoozed under a blanket 
um, in the nice dark quiet warm room uh, and then we went into the main saltwater vitality pool and again lay down for a bit read went in the jacuzzi went into the steam room um, generally chilled out and then it was before we knew it time to come back up to the room and go and have more food uh, so we're gonna go down for dinner now um, and I might even have a, mo a mocktail on antibiotics for the tonsillitis <laughs> so no alcohol for me um, but I had a very nice mocktail last night it was uh, uh, an apple mi and mint mojito which was really really good so uh, I'm experiencing things through the eyes of a non-drinker for once uh, usually it'd be wall-to-wall -wall prosecco when we were here <laughs> next time next time i'm feeling so much better so it's definitely worth it in fact i think every time i'm ill we should just come here i think it's been just why not yeah mother agrees um and just treat it like kind of a, a convalescent home for for ailing victorian ladies um so yes uh, right dinner time I kind of took uh, the boy who cried wolf sort of approach with all the reports that it might snow because uh, it didn't look like it was really going to snow and then it has really snowed. It's very pretty though. <laughs>